So we are back again with another console unboxing. This one came from a trade-in. Uh, somebody submitted a trade-in on my website, jarabgaming.com, and it's supposed to be an Xbox Series S and a couple controllers. So let's go ahead and open it up. I actually already opened up a couple sides. Let's go ahead and open up this side. And we're just basically gonna do a basic unboxing, see what's inside, and uh, make sure we actually have an Xbox Series S in here. All right, we got it open. Got some packaging, classic brown paper. I see two controllers, I see some wires. Looks good so far. So this looks to be the actual original kind of like foam packaging that was used in the Xbox Series S box. And let's go ahead and pull it out. If we can get this piece of tape off. And here we go. That controller looks pristine. I wonder if, <laughs> I, I can't imagine how many hours are put on this, but this looks perfect. I mean, like there's one little smudge back there. Probably even have some batteries in here, I would imagine. Okay, so the weird thing is I can't get the battery cover off. I've never had that happen before. I'm not sure what's going on, but I cannot get the battery cover off of this thing, which is really weird. I've never had an issue with that. Let's go ahead and try out the next controller, which is a black one, also a Series X. I guess it's technically a Series X controller. This one feels really nice as well and looks good on all sides. Got one little smudge there. This one came off just fine. No batteries in there. Let's try the other one one more time. I don't know what's going on. I mean, it looks exactly the same on the back. Usually it just slides off very easily, but Dude, that's so weird. Why is it stuck like that? I might have to pry it up with a screwdriver or something. I don't know. Got a couple of cords. We've got an HDMI cable, the power cable. These are the OEM ones that came with the Series S, it looks like. Even includes some nice little uh, red Velcro. And then here's the console down here. And if the console looks like the controllers, it's, um, you know, everything's been in pretty good condition so far. And yeah, this thing looks good as well. One little mark on the top, which we can wipe off pretty easily. Front looks good as well. One little mark, uh, rubber feet are all on the back, or on the bottom, excuse me. And then here on the back, looks good as well. Uh, never been opened and manufactured in April 2021. So it's only about an, a year old. I wonder if it's even out of the warranty um, range yet, but everything looks good so far. Let me go ahead and try this controller one more time and I'll come back. All right, so I was able to pop it off with a screwdriver and something does look a little bit odd with the uh, back cover here. That little piece right there looks a little bit messed up. You probably can't see it, but let's try to put it back on and take it off one more time. I don't know what, dude, that's so weird. I have to get my fingernail under there to pop it off. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have ever had this happen to you before. I've never seen this on any Xbox One or Series X slash S controllers. So that's that's really weird. But yeah, if you wanna buy a Series S, two controllers, uh, this console will go for sale on my website sometime soon. And also if you wanna trade anything in, go to my website and go to the trade-in tab. And yeah, thanks for watching guys and have a great day.